Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne. I am sweating up a storm right now. I was just running around doing stuff. So, anyway, today is Wednesday. And I got something here to unbox from the lovely Sephora. Oh, meeting chocolate. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna open this up, we'll do a face, and then I'll say goodbye. What did I get, you may ask? Ooh, I don't even know. Ooh, I got the Call of Duty Vinyl Source. I think these were the two samples I could pick. Cora Glow Face Oil. And then, oh, I got three. What is this? Summer Friday CC Me Serum Brightening. Then I got Dirty Blunders Meet Your Match. This is, a, oh, well, it's the cleaner, which I actually already have. But I like it a lot. So this is... The original beauty blender sample size. Push to dispense water. Press to saturate. Open, then squeeze to fill the unique form. Okay. Ah. That's me. Okay, guys. I'm playing with that when you're like, what did you get? I'm not a fan of her eyeshadows. I know. But, thought I'd give this one a try. Give it an, an actual honest review. Ah. Of it. Okay, so... So I'm going to try in a few shades and then maybe I'll swatch the rest. I'm not 100% sure what I'll do. You guys know me by now. Nothing is ever written in stone. I never know what I'm doing. Hmm. That's the fun. Okay, so can I use this now? Oh, it says test with your favorite foundation. So I think that means yes, I can. If I could open the thing. Ooh. Ooh. It's nice and squishy. Okay, does that mean it's leaking water still? I'm just gonna put that up for now. So I am going to use my Charlotte Tilbury primer. You know, I'm not going to do that. I've got a huge pimple right there. And I didn't know it last night. I went to bed, and then I had dreams about it. Oh, it hurts. Just a little bit. Okay. I am going to use my Tentidal from Lancome. just going to be one of those days for me, isn't it? Okay, so I had my first closing shift last night. And that was interesting. Interesting. Feels weird to have something so small in my hand. Get your mind out of the gutter, guys. Part of me is like hitting my own face. One of these is a beauty blender. Let's use the water from here. Okay. 
Okay, let's do this up. So yesterday's foundation, or sorry, yesterday's foundation, the, my makeup I was wearing, the Defense, it lasted, it stuck in place. So I'm going to use the drug for uh, night primer today to see if that'll help. Um, you guys know I've already, I had that little one that was $86 for the six pans. Well, I did sell it. And because I knew I wasn't going to reach for it. It's six colors. This one I'm going to try to hang on to because I really do like the look of it. So I did get the Pat McGrath um, under eye. Um... There's no more water than that, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so. I actually didn't put anything on my under eye today, but oh well. So this is the Pat McGrath in the... Little spoiler card I got. I had to get some up there. So, I know you guys are like, can you please stop playing with your face and just get to the eyeshadow? I know, I know, I know. But. That covers really well. Like on this side, I can definitely see the difference. Like I can see the si difference on both sides, but. I can see where I got the water on that one. So weird. Whatever. Maybe this isn't the beauty blender. Maybe this one is. This one does feel denser. Alright. Okay. So. I got Sia stuck in my head. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna use actually. My it cosmetics because I used it yesterday and it did hold up pretty well. Try not to get a bunch on me this time. Although I'm not in my work clothes, so Okay, so nine minutes into this. Are we are we flipping? So I do have that one Lux box that I have to drive, draw for. So um, if you guys haven't, go, go and watch my Lux box from, what is it, like in August? No, September. Okay, if you guys go and watch it. You can enter to win some of the products from it. I did keep one from it. So anyway, all right. I did keep one of the items because I wanted to try it. It isn't all that great, so. Okay. 
let that sit for a few minutes while I start on this. Got my I hope that was a leaf because if it wasn't a leaf it, it was a squirrel or a bird. I'm not sure. It kind of looked like a squirrel to me. And it like like just fell. <laughs> so as some of you know I got my amazing try box yesterday so I have this beautiful eye primer and concealer all in one but I'm just gonna use it as an, a primer for right now because I tried the Pat McGrath one okay and this absolutely unequivocally kept that pure defense in its place I just applied too much on this first one, so I just want to make sure I pat it out. I love this Bye Bye Bars. Oh, I feel my skin afterwards, and it just feels so silky. It feels like it like just sinks into the holes and makes them the pores not holes but makes them feel like they're normal okay so let's get to this shall we you're like yep shut up and get to it so I am gonna put that. where are my other oh there there so it's obviously got stickers on it I don't know, just for a hundred dollars, you think you get a little bit more. You do get a nice large mirror, mind you. And you do get one, what, 18 colors. So, I mean, I really shouldn't complain, but for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see how these work. It's been a while since I've been blown away by something. I just grabbed a bunch of <clears throat> okay so this here is a perfect Halloween color so maybe I'll try to incorporate that I might go for a darker look I might use this one these two maybe this one and this one it's not a whole lot of um, base colors to really work with and that's okay or matte colors and that's okay because I really do like these shimmers I do like this one too so maybe this one to this one or this one to this one I don't know people don't expect me to make a choice right away I suck at making decisions suck at it So I just grabbed out a bunch of brushes, so I'm just going to kind to decide which one I'm going to use first. Okay. So I was instructed to watch a video by a friend to find out how these colors uh, applied and what brushes to use and what you know other things to use and this lady that was doing it um, I mean I'm not criticizing her but um, not everyone can afford you know wing goss brushes or anything like that and you know some of us are just here to have a little bit of fun right so I mean if they want to pick up a Pat McGrath I mean you should be able to make it work somehow and I don't fault Pat McGrath's formulas because obviously it's not the formulas when it works for everyone else. It just does not work for me. I just don't have the techniques or the level of professionals of professionalism to use it, I guess I would say. 
But everyone has different opinions, and like I said, I'm not going to trash the brand because, you know, it's not the brand's fault it didn't work for me. Just that I'm not a, f wasn't a fan. I think I'm going to start to like this because this color is gorgeous. So I'm going to go in with a smaller tapered brush and I'm going to grab that dark color. So that color that I did choose is not smoking. Okay, yeah, so gold standard would be this one. I just put my freaking finger in it. So corruption would be this one. And the name's on the back of the box. No, of course not. I mean, they are, but they're not. Okay, okay guys, let me just figure this out. Okay, so the smoke amethyst is this one. That's why I like it so much. So this is the third over. So it's Venetian or orchid, which is what would make sense. And dragonfly would be the next one. That one is gorgeous too. Okay, so then this one would be venomous void. Okay, so I'm just... There's almost no fallout in this, I have to admit. So there's the color there that I'm going to put. And I just want to put it like... Actually, I think I'm going to go do this. I am using my Sigma brushes because they are probably the best brushes I do have. I do have a wing gauze brush from the Beautylish bag, but uh, I don't think it's one of his better brushes because I mean, I washed it once and I know I take really good care and like making sure that I set them down properly and I don't know, maybe I messed it up, but... It also, I think, came a bit messed up. You made a mess? You want to watch Mickey Mouse? Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. She wanted PJ mask on. I could have sworn she was saying. Mickey Mouse, but. This is a very, very, I can't believe how well it's blending out for me considering. Started watching Nurse Ratchet and that looks like a good show. And is it The Haunting of Bly, 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 Bly House? Bly is coming on too. So I'm excited for that. Okay, guys, that is really, really gorgeous. I have to admit, it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I am going to go in with. Hey, 
Okay, so I'm going to go in with the top shade, Violet Void. Yeah, Violet Void. What was the other? Oh, Venomous Void. Ignore my dog, guys. <sighs> Sass! She's ruining this for me. You know that? No. I think she's happy because my other cat came home. Jennifer, if you're watching this, I meant to message you, but I completely f have been so busy. But yes, uh, I came down the one morning and I thought I heard her meowing because she goes upstairs and meows, right? And so, yeah, I went downstairs. Okay, so I'm going to go to this smoked amethyst because, hey, this palette is such... So for me, I should say. Um, so anyway, I went downstairs and I thought I heard her meowing. And sure enough, I get down there. So I come downstairs and she's upstairs meowing. So I go upstairs. And there she is. And I messaged my fiance and I'm like, did she come home? And he goes, yeah, she was on the porch. And I was like, oh, she's been missing for about five days, six days, seven days maybe. But here's the thing is, is that I rescued her when she was six months old to and not to replace, but um, our other cat had gotten out and was killed. So I do my best to keep all of my cats inside. But sometimes the little buggers find their way out. Like she would jump out of a second story screen window with a hole about this big, jump down onto this little hydro box thing in the middle and then jump down to a fence. I mean, she wanted it, she's gonna get it, which really frustrated me. Because, I mean, you have to go around and you have to child-proof your home, and then you have to cat-proof your home. And let me tell you, cats, they're freaking... Okay, let's do this. So, anyway. she you, There's only been a few times that she's been out for more than five days, but it's been really crappy here. So I was getting worried. Usually she comes home in the rain. I did see her the one day and I didn't run out to grab her, which I should have. I was I was not feeling well. No, actually I did go out to get her and she decided to run away. And I'm like, okay, enough's enough. You'll come when you're ready. So, yes, but she hasn't been out for a year. She got into a cat fight. She got her I scratched. We treated her and you got it better. You can still see that there is a scratch. But oh my god. What sorcery is this? I'm just going into work at McDonald's and I'm gonna look all glammed up. I am just gonna do this side a little bit darker because it just does not look the same. Guys, this pan, like, if this is the only palette you can afford, it might be worth it because, honestly, like, I'm barely touching and I've gotten such bold, bold colors here. Brighten up this pink a bit. Wow. Okay, so I am going to take, I think I'm going to take this, not this one, something darker. So there's this color, third one over, called, no, that's not Fuchsia Shark. That one's called Fuchsia Shark. Okay, so one beside it, Megabyte. So it's a gold color, so I'm going to take this one here. And I'm just going to kind of put it in between the two colors.
Okay, guys, I told you I wasn't going to be surprised by this, and I was not expecting this quality. I think definitely helping, having that um, eye primer has helped a lot. But I definitely am looking to keep this in my collection as of right now because I have to si simply try all of the colors. There is a bit of fallout. I've got a bit of the smoke amethyst on my hands. But we all have products that tend to do that to us. Wow. Why does this just not look perfect to me? Oh, I can't wait to try this pink right here. But I got the colors on that I like. I like that it's a very dark purple. It suits me completely, and I'm not even done yet. Not even yet. Okay, so. Actually. Let's see here. I think I'm going to take the shimmer black that I have and just do under my eyes. I'm not going to worry about the top. I kind of like the top the way that it is. And this is using my physician's formula. Then I am going to take a new brush and I am going to take that first color and I am going to put it under there. Use that same brush in that darker color. Take that very, very gold, gold, gold shade. I am seeing a little bit of the sparkle fallout, but nothing like the other brands I have tried, I usually by now it's like covered in sparkles and it's not looking very good, but man, this looks amazing. So I am going to use my Laura Geller. That is I'm going to give my eyelashes a bit of a So I've got another giveaway in the works. Um, so what's going to happen is, is that I'm going to draw hopefully this week for the Lux box. I thought I'd give you guys a reminder to go back and make sure you're entered in it. Um, 
And then what I think I'll do is I will um, start another contest when I pick the winner for that. And it's just a box of odd and en odds and ends. But it's some of like my favorite stuff, some of the stuff that I do like, some of the stuff that I know I'm just I have way too much to use. Um, could probably sell it, but I thought you know what? There's I have such great, amazing f fans that. So this is just a primer. It's not white, which I really like. And then I will go in with my lash blowout because you guys know that this is one of my favorite lashes um, to date. I am uh, going to do have to admit, this has been um, a really good find, and I got this in Top Box actually, and I kind of love it. I have been using it a lot with this. I have cheap thrills stuck in my head right now and it's driving me crazy. So I am using the IT Cosmetics. blush it feels like I'm not getting any on me there we go pimple it's tender foundation like do you even see where I like stopped it because
open. Sesamita. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, so I am going to go in with not that brush. Not that brush. Why is it whenever I'm looking for a special brush, it's right in front of my face and I just don't see it? Okay, I wanted to try to keep this high end, but you know, sometimes you just gotta have new product to try. So I think I'm gonna go in with Comet. There's no mirror in that one. Duh. That's right. Okay. So we've done that part. So we do have the Pat McGrath little lipstick, lip liner and lipstick here. So I'm gonna use that because why not? I am going to condition my lips before. I thought I brought it over. I guess I didn't. I must do that. I'm gonna go fix my toe too. So there's the look. I think maybe I'll take my hair back down. I just had it up because I need it up for work, but I really don't need it up right now. There it is. Okay. So, because usually I, well, as you guys probably notice, I take the thumbnails after I've done the look. This way nobody has to see the uh, unpainted version of me. My dad used to call it war paint. Probably still does. I just don't talk to him, so. Okay. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Here, let me get a... Let me do a close-up, okay? Are you ready? What do you think? Let me know. I actually... I'm going to have to try to reduplicate this look at some point. Hmm. Okay, guys. This is now available at Sephora. I believe that it's still in stock. It's $103. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, she's gorgeous. 
I, I'm in love. I'm gonna have to try more looks, of course, but I uh, need to dye my hair soon, too. Those grays are coming through pretty good. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. And please leave a comment below if you are getting this palette. If you're not, what you think of the look. Um, and remember just to be kind. I'm not a professional by any means. I'm just here to have some fun, entertain. And I hope I did that today. Anyway, you guys have a great day. And please don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're subscribed.